that's 100. All right, it was truly good with you guys. Today we're gonna be talking about Logic Pro 11.2. Let's get right into it. So of course, one of the most important things I'm excited about is definitely the stem separation. I use Logic Pro stem separation all the time. Yeah. You can never keep me from the sky. You can never keep me from the sky When I bought a clouds down a place to think I want a prize called peace yep. Alright, so that's a little bit of the track and that's called You Can Never I'll leave that link below if you guys are interested So, we're gonna right click on this or you can do control click Then we're gonna do stem splitter And now we have some new options We have guitar and piano added into here we could also do sub mixes. You can literally create a sub mix of your choice and you have presets in here too. So you could do acapella, instrumental, vocals, all the different things and just get the combination that you really need for that moment, which is super dope. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and check out all the new stuff. Now in this particular track, I don't have guitar. So I'm gonna leave that unchecked and we're gonna see how it separates the piano on this particular track. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And I mean, bam, look how fast it separated these stems. This is literally insane. So we have this new joint. So let's check out everything. Let's see what we think. You can never keep me from the sky. When I bought the clouds, found a place to think There's I piano. want a prize. Not bad. Still sounds a little bit more on the MP3 side, but it's not horrible. And now this is gonna be hard because I have this layered with a Rhodes. Everything else has always been on point. We can go to the drum. Yeah, it's always, it's always been high quality on the drums, bass. And then of course we got the acapellas. Look at you, thinking you can interrupt my shot with the rock, you know that it's an and one. Yeah, yeah, you can never keep me from the spot. Yeah, so everything else has always been more on the better quality side. Of course, this isn't perfect but this is the best quality stems i've heard on any platform by far all right the next thing we're going to do is to get into capture audio so we can actually capture our audio without recording this was exclusive for midi now they've opened it up to audio but there's something you're going to need to do first in your settings so you want to come over here to your locator area or you just click in a blank space right here we're going to go ahead and right click we're gonna to go to customize control bar and display. And so basically over here, we have our flashback capture. Now I have this checked for you guys. It's gonna be unchecked. So we're gonna check this together, bam. And then we can go ahead and get on out of here just by clicking away. So now we have this new icon right over here, uh, flashback capture. And the shortcut for that is shift R. <laughs> Okay, now the only thing with this is the session needs to be playing. You need to, it actually needs to be playing. So we're gonna go ahead and just start this. So let's start this over. Perfect, so we can do Shift R and you can see here it picked up what we just played. So that comes in handy because sometimes when we're playing without the record button on, we don't have that recording anxiety. So you could just be jamming out and having a good time and be like, oh snap, I can go ahead and capture that and just do shift R or you can click the flashback capture button right over here. You can just click that and then it'll bring up what you just played, which is pretty dope. So the next option that we have here is gonna be to search uh, and select track here. So I went to the help 
icon and then I just searched search and select track. So what this is going to do is allow you to search through your tracks. So say if you had like a gajillion tracks here, something like that, and you wanted to find the sample, you can just type in here sample and it'll show you the tracks that you have available that have sample in it. So you can locate a track way better. So in this case, you are going to have to create a shortcut for that. Now for me, I don't know what it is on my side, but when I did the shortcut and it's supposed to be control command and T, uh, that shortcut is actually used for a different command. That's actually used for being able to chop something that I selected with the marquee tool here. If I do control command T here, you can see it does that. So it's already used. So if you want to change that, what you can do is do option K. This is the shortcut to get you to your uh, keyboard, your key command assignments. And so you can actually search for that if you want. You can uh, search. This is what I already did. Search and select track. And you can see it comes up here. You can actually change that if you want to control command and T if you want for that shortcut or whatever shortcut that you would like. Honestly, that's not already used. You could customize that in your settings here. So that's a nice little feature that comes in handy when you got big sessions. Now with that track search and select, we also can do that for plugins. So let's say on this Modi X plus track, what we can do is do control command and P and we can actually search for a plugin to add to this particular track. So we can say we want to add some comeback kit to it. Bam, we have it on this track. And that's super helpful in situations like that. The next thing that we have here is large faders to get your mixer to look more like Pro Tools here. So if we come over here and hit X, go to our mixer, we can go to our view and we can check long faders. So now you have larger faders that look similar to Pro Tools. And now you can kind of dial in exactly what you were looking for in terms of, you know, the decibel range or whatever you want. You can really get more surgical with having these. The numbers get taller. Again, it just reminds me of a, more of a Pro Tools aesthetic. Now for songwriters here and for people who want to generate ideas and stuff like that, we have the new chat GPT incorporation or integration, shall I say, uh, with our notepad here. So if you come over here to this icon, uh, you can see we have notepads. Let's say feeling real good. I wish they understood. So what we can do is highlight this and come over here to chat GPT and we can say, give me something that draws the listener in. All right, and it'll search. Uh, so we can go ahead and use ChatGPT. So here we go. Feeling real good. I wish they understood. Heartbeats echo deep in the neighborhood. So you can use this as an assistant. Now I'm not like a crazy lyricist or something like that, but this is just to give you the idea uh, to be able to incorporate ChatGPT with your workflow as you're writing in your notepad. Now you can also use this for progressions as well. You can type in here. Uh, give me a dope chord progression in the key of C that feels warm and fuzzy. And there you have it. So for a warm and fuzzy vibe in the key of C, try this chord progression, C major, a minor seven, D minor seven, G seven. All right, fam, so this is 11.2. There's more updates. If you guys wanna go for the deep dive with your brother, you can check out my Logic Pro Masterclass. This is where we cover the absolute basics from learning the buttons to your final mix and master. We cover everything in between from production. We also cover some hidden gems and Logic, some hidden sounds that date all the way back to Logic 8 
And what I love about this masterclass the most is the community aspect. This is where you can ask your questions, get involved in the community, and who knows, even feature you on one of my next releases. Now guys, if you're serious about taking your Logic Pro experience to the next level, then go ahead and enroll into that class. I'll leave that tag below and in the description for you. And we hope to see you on the other side. All right, guys, if you got any value out of this video, give your brother a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else from the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.